Welcome back to Geology Info. Today we're talking about the company that wants to drill into the Campi Flegre volcano. In your opinion, is this safe or pure madness? Knowing that the crust of Campi Flegre is getting weaker, wouldn't this make everything worse? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Bye. The concern among the scientific community has grown significantly, as recent studies indicate that the layer acting as a natural lid for the magma, located just a few miles, kilometers below the surface, is weakening. In this geologically tense scenario, a company called Prismian PowerLink SRL, specialized in manufacturing cables for the energy and telecommunication sectors, has filed a request to drill two geothermal wells directly into the most active part of the supervolcano. The proposal was officially published in the Campania region's bulletin and immediately sparked outrage among scientists, local residents, and public authorities. The plan involves a small-scale geothermal exploration for one year with the possibility of extension, aiming to use underground hot water for energy purposes. However, the drilling site is located at the epicenter of the volcanic and seismic activity, where the most intense earthquakes occur and where fumaroles and hydrothermal fields are concentrated. Pozzuoli, a city of approximately 80 to 100,000 residents, sits directly on the caldera and includes high-risk zones such as the Solfatara crater and the Pisciarelli area. Recent studies revealed that the rock layer maintaining the underground system has thinned significantly, losing nearly one-third of its thickness since the 1980s. Moreover, a vertical crack about two-thirds of a mile long, one kilometer, has been detected, which could act as a conduit for magma to reach the surface. These findings suggest that even minor interventions in the system could trigger unpredictable reactions, including phreatic explosions, the release of toxic gases, or high-magnitude earthquakes. While the company supports the project, citing studies that claim that ground deformation is caused by vapor pressure rather than rising magma, experts from the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, or INGV, warn that Campi Flegre's condition is critical and highly unstable. Among them, scientist Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo emphasizes that any drilling could worsen the seismic crisis and potentially provoke explosive events. On the other hand, Another scientist, Giuseppe Di Natale, adopts a more favorable stance toward the project, stating that previous wells had no significant impact. This divergence of opinions further intensifies the debate regarding the project and the safety of the local population. What makes the situation even more delicate is that Pozzuoli's residents are already living in a state of alert, with damaged homes, nights interrupted by tremors, and constant fear of a major disaster. Many old buildings, already compromised, could collapse with any earthquake above magnitude 5. Given this, many are asking, is it wise to poke the volcano at this moment? Tensions continue to rise as the public objection period advances, putting economic interests, geological risks, and the safety of thousands of lives at odds. The drilling proposal by Prismian PowerLink SRL raises an essential question. How far is it worth risking the stability of one of the most geologically hazardous areas in the world in the name of renewable energy? Supporters argue that geothermal energy is a sustainable and clean alternative, especially in this era of energy transition. However, the real issue lies in the complexity and fragility of Campi Flegre's hydrothermal system. Recent studies, including those from Stanford University and the University of Naples' Federico II, suggest that the pressure buildup in the area is caused by trapped vapor and fluids in fragile rock layers between one and one and a half to two and a half miles, two to four kilometers deep, precisely where the wells would be drilled. The researchers conducted laboratory tests using rock samples from the caldera, simulating internal pressure increases. The results showed that even small pressure elevations could cause fractures and explosions, like those seen in phreatic eruptions. Based on this, it was proposed that carefully extracting these fluids might relieve pressure and, theoretically, reduce the number of earthquakes. However, this theory is still very new, lacks real-world validation, and, most importantly, disregards the fact that this is a supervolcano not a typical geothermal field like those found in Iceland. The comparison with Icelandic facilities is often used to downplay the risks, but experts stress that the geological context is completely different. Iceland has regular fissure-style volcanic activity in sparsely populated areas with more stable rock. Campi Flegre, by contrast, is a collapsed caldera located beneath one of the most densely populated regions in Europe, filled with ancient structures and a population directly exposed to risk.
A single miscalculation there could result in anything from large earthquakes to the release of dangerous gases like carbon dioxide, already detected at concerning levels in schools, public buildings, and homes in Pozzuoli. Another red flag comes from the region's own history. Back in 2010, when a similar project, the Campi Vigra deep drilling, was proposed, it faced massive opposition from the scientific community and local population. At that time, ground uplift and seismic activity were significantly lower than they are today. Yet, even then, the INGV warned that any kind of drilling could pose a serious risk of triggering earthquakes or gas releases, even without leading to a full eruption. Now, with increasing seismic activity and clear signs of crustal weakening, the threat is far more imminent. Given this scenario, many residents and scientists are calling for maximum caution. While geothermal energy is an attractive solution, applying it to such a sensitive and unstable system like Campi Flegre is akin to lighting a match near a powder keg. The region is already showing signs of extreme stress. Cracked streets, smoke venting from the ground, rising underground temperatures and daily tremors. The system's unpredictability is so high that some experts even advocate for the preemptive evacuation of parts of Pozzuoli before any drilling activity begins. After all, when dealing with a supervolcano, mistakes can be irreversible. The disagreement between experts highlights the dilemma faced by the scientific community. On one hand, geophysicist Giuseppe De Natale insists that past geothermal interventions caused no significant harm and sees the current project as a chance to harness a valuable energy source. Since 1985, over a dozen wells have been drilled, some even unauthorized, with no disaster. De Natale frames the project as a blend of progress and science while criticizing politicians and concerned citizens as being driven by ignorance or exaggerated fear. On the other side, senior volcanologist Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo from INGV has been warning for years about the dangers of any drilling in the caldera. In his view, even small-scale operations could spark unexpected consequences. He likens Camp Eiffel Grey to a pressure cooker, filled with trapped vapor and gases beneath fractured rock layers. Any disturbance, whether fluid extraction or drilling, could trigger large earthquakes or release harmful gases into populated areas. He cites carbon dioxide as one of the main concerns, with dangerously high levels already observed. Mastro Lorenzo's warnings gain weight considering that the studies backing the drilling proposal are based on lab simulations and simplified models that don't reflect the real complexity of the underground system. He states he has yet to see any peer-reviewed scientific study that justifies such operations in a safe and sound manner. The focus on drilling is also diverting attention from more immediate concerns, such as reinforcing buildings, creating evacuation plans, and properly informing the population about the risks. Instead of prioritizing a high-risk energy project, maybe the focus should be on protecting people and preparing for potential escalation. If you found this content informative and want to follow updates on Campi Flegre and other natural phenomena around the world, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and share this video with others interested in science, safety, and energy. Your engagement helps spread awareness and encourage responsible decision making. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Is drilling Campi Flegre a necessary risk or an unthinkable gamble?